Hello, everybody. This is Susan. Oh my gosh, I've been working in the backyard for two days now trying to get a rose bush that has just gone crazy cut down. It's over here. What, um, just a <laughs> crazy amount of work to do. But it's gotten way too, way too big. And it's encroaching on things. But I thought I'd take a few minutes and show you my backyard because it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. You have no idea how how beautiful it smells so wonderful i'm able to um uh keep my windows open at night and uh, smell the blossoms but look this is my apricot tree this is the four kinds of apricots on this tree you know it's, it's grafted in all different areas so the blooms are coming in different times and what we'll see is We'll have a branch or two of one type of apricot and then a few weeks later another branch will have apricots and so on and the same thing's going on here with my plum tree as you can see and we've got plum uh, we've got a whole branch that has a lot more than other branches on it that's my plum freesias are out in full force and they smell so amazing you guys absolutely just I've been bringing them in the house for weeks. And the California poppies are pretty much everywhere. It looks like it's going to be a sea of orange here pretty soon. And you can see my pink jasmine that I have over all my office window, my bedroom window, is in full bloom. And it, it just, it's just such a crazy, amazing smell. It's so good. I just wish I could just lay on the, lay inside it. I, I, if I could sleep inside the jasmine and just sleep there comfortably standing up, I guess. I'd be okay with that. Here's my bird feeder that I've taken so many photos of from my office window. And you can see that I'm going to have a flood of California poppies very soon. Um, some succulents that are growing. More California poppies. Now I have purple freesias over here. You can see them kind of off to the side here. And what I've learned is that you plant freesias in different colors and what comes up are yellow after a while and somebody told me because yellow is a dominant color with freesias and whenever the whenever the bulbs um, propagate or duplicate or whatever it is they called <laughs> they lose they lose whatever color they had other than yellow so that's why almost all freesia bulbs at least that I seem to get are all yellow but these are in a separate little uh, area by themselves so they are purple and then these over here I'm not sure how to pronounce them I think they're called a ammo a m o n o e I can't remember but it's something like that it's a it's a it's a bulb and they're doing really well over in this area this is a Joseph coat roses these are uh, Joseph coat, like from the Bible, where Joseph's coat of many colors. And of course, this is where the rose bush is coming down. I have some carrots and onions all planted in here. Strawberries, I've got to give everything a nice, good, um, a really good watering. You can see in here is where the strawberries are growing through. I have little holes for them. Blackberries are starting to come out. Oh my gosh, these are so amazing. Oh, look, there's one. Can you see it? Oh, look at that. Uh, mm, uh. Mm, mm, mm. A little sour. A little sour so far. That's not unusual. But as the season goes, it'll get a lot sweeter. A little area back here where I can get my blackberries growing. And I have some peppers. Uh, these peppers have been here for a year. <laughs> I didn't replant them. Got some cauliflower, more strawberries. Um, should be a good season. Over in here, I have some Brussels sprouts for somebody to eat, not me. And uh, more cauliflower starting to deform. Peppers. This pepper has been here for uh, a year or two. Some more onions. Um, and in this container over here, I don't really have anything except broken branches of <laughs> rose petals so it should be a really nice uh, year I've had really serious problems with 
getting um, fruit on the plants in the last two years because I was having problems with birds. So I netted the tree last year. All the trees got nets. And the problem was is they didn't propagate because the I guess the bees couldn't get through the nets. I think you're supposed to put the nets on after the fruit's already produced, but to do that, it's, it's a lot of work because netting is really hard to put on trees, believe it or not. So I've got these bird dollar store things that I bought to kind of, I don't know, maybe surprise the birds or something. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might have to just stay out here and just kind of wave my arms all the time. I mean, I have three cats. I don't know why we have, they would even come out here. But I also have these dollar store things on here because the trees right now, they're kind of invisible as far as these branches go and they're just at your eye level. So I kind of have them on there so that you can walk by and maybe say, hey, there is a something sticking out there. So probably don't do that. Don't walk so close. The pink jasmine, as I said, is in full bloom. But over in this area, this is going to be star jasmine. And this will take well, it used to bloom in the summer, so I think it's going to probably start blooming in April or May. You know, I see little buds forming on here. And this will be a, just a wall of some wonderful smells. I have peach blossoms. I have not had any blossoms, I mean, any peach tree, anything since I planted this maybe five or six years ago. So maybe this will be the year that I actually have peach, peach peaches this year. And then I have more star jasmine here and here on each side of the rumpus room. So maybe we'll have, this will be overwhelmingly beautiful and smelly soon. And then I'm standing under the Concord grape vine that the last couple years I haven't really had a lot of success with the grapes. Um, I don't think it was drought, might have been drought related before, but last year we had a pretty good rainfall. And I'm not really sure what the problem was, but let's hope this year we have some great, great grapes. But um, anyways, I thought I'd give you an update of what my backyard looks like right now. It's really coming along. Spring is definitely in the air and I need to plant some more flowers, believe it or not. Sterling. <laughs> Sterling always teased me about bringing home too many flowers. It was an addiction. <laughs> and he's probably right. But I go to the store and I, and I see them sitting there and they're looking at me and they say, I say, would you like to come home with me? And they say, yes. If you'll plant me in the backyard and water me and give me sunshine, I would happy to be happy to come home with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm losing it. Okay, right. Anyway. I hope you guys are all enjoying your gardens or planning for your future gardens or uh, getting ready for, you know, what you're going to plant or enjoying somebody else's gardens. But get outside. It's, it's incredibly uh, wonderful to be amongst plants and to, to be able to enjoy the outdoors. If, if anything, just the smell of how amazing it is. Talk to you guys soon.